What's happening, everybody? Dano here. I've got a face for radio and a voice for silent pictures, but I'm here making this video to tell you about the Skywatcher Solar Quest. Um, I got it a few months ago in preparation for the eclipse this year. Uh, the eclipse is in April, April the 8th, 2024, and uh, this was the first thing I wanted. Uh, I was originally going to use my Canon 400 millimeter lens and a DSLR, and then I got this scope, but I'll get into this stuff in another video. Today I'm just going to talk about uh, the Skywatcher Solar Quest and do a quick little review of it. As far as assembly of this thing, um, you have these little screws right here and the mount head will just pop out once you loosen them enough. This has a little bar on the bottom here. So it's, it's pretty simple. You'll just attach this little pier attachment to the tripod like that. And then tighten tighten that down and then uh, this piece right here just sits in like that and then tighten it tighten the three screws down and as far as the tri the tripod comes with this little spreader tray um, let's see if I can get this thing off of there yeah I, uh, I, I put this on to uh, set my battery on has the little notches here and you'll just line those notches up and push it down and then slide it underneath the little tabs which is the hard part like that that's it and that's pretty much the assembly and I keep it assembled uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room I just uh, push the legs up on the tripod and the, the tripod's nice, and you know it does have the two levels, but I always use the one on the very top now. And uh, yep, I just have this thing sitting in my living room, just ready to go. I mean, it's super light. Just pick it up, bring it outside. It's kind of windy today, so the, and the seeing was not very good, even though it's I'm. Mean, super blue skies uh i i highly recommend this mount if you're going to dabble in solar even with uh, white light filters or the upcoming eclipse or if you eventually want to get a ha uh, an ha solar rig uh, this thing is awesome so this thing is really simple to set up um basically you'll when you initially set it up you'll want to set it to the left of the sun up here now the sun rises in the east and sets in the west so you'll always want to set it up aiming just slightly to the east of the sun otherwise it'll spin around completely and make a circle and get back to the sun so I just always set it aiming just a little to the left and it'll go over to the sun and I mean it, it's spot on it, it's really simple Basically, uh, you have a bubble level here and a bubble level on the top, and you'll you'll set it up, you'll aim it just east of the sun, and you want to level this thing, and then that's pretty much it. You power it on, and it'll go right to the sun. So it's initially going to come with um, a battery pack installation, but I. Uh, it also comes with this 12 volt adapter and I installed this 12 volt adapter here and uh, what I do is I just power it with the my little power source here my little watt fun and in the manual it it has a weird measurement for this cable but it does use a 
I believe it's 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter. Just a standard 12 volt male to male uh, cable that I use with all my other gear. This actually fits right here. And so you can either use batteries or the cable. And just to make it uh, simple, because with my rig, um, this rig, I have to power this anyways, this Daystar, uh, which I'm going to talk about that later. Um, you just We'll plug in one end here. Once you, um, if you decide to go this route, if not, it uses, I think it's double A batteries. Um, but then I just plug my other end right here and then it's ready to go. It's powered up. Now, when I level this thing, let me get out of the sun. Uh, and if you can see there, I'm going to try to focus on that. It's not centered on the tripod there's another level up here and i use this one i try to get that centered and today it's doing pretty well it's it's uh it's holding the sun in the frame and i think i originally used this one on the tripod and it didn't track as well so you'll want to be mindful of that i don't know why they're uh so different but you know this one this one looks centered and this one is not. So you may want to try it both ways. Uh, uh, this uses this sensor uh, right here to find the sun. Um, and Garnet mentioned, you know, it doesn't come with a cover. And this thing's kind of like looks scratched up and stuff, but it still works. But I just want to, I'll keep a, a plastic bag or something over to keep dust off of it. But uh, yeah, it that's how it finds the sun, and it's usually spot on. It, it it'll center it up, and it'll keep it in the field of view. I'm gonna go over powering this thing on, and uh, I, I I was just doing some solar imaging, and I I let the sun travel a little bit, so it's not gonna be in the field of view. So uh, I'm gonna power everything back on, and we'll see how easily it finds the sun. Now, so before I power it on, I'm going to go over the um, the buttons here. You have a power button, and then you have the mount, um, mo the movement joystick, basically. So it, it you can push it in um, all around in circles, or up, down, left, and right. And one thing I learned the first time um, I set this up, which if you're using uh, like a DSLR and a scope or something uh it has this mount on the side here so your scope would be facing uh sideways basically if you can't change your orientation but when i change my orientation and i actually set the camera up uh you know straight up then <clears throat> this uh controller will actually coincide with that uh, the first time I didn't rotate the camera like this and it was kind of like weird opposite going directions and stuff But now if I want to go up I go up down down left left right right if you orient your camera like this Then the directions will actually be uh, Correct as far as which way you want to move the telescope Okay, let's try this again all right, I just held the power button down for a couple seconds and the little red light starts blinking. And I'm gonna come over here to the laptop and uh, this is gonna be hard to see because it's the reflection and stuff. I'm gonna cover this up and see if I can get that glare out. That's tough, that's tough to get out. So, can't see anything on the laptop here. Uh, that's because it's not on the sun but I'm going to tap this button and the scope should move maybe it's twice There it goes. It took a minute. 
So it moved. And look at that. Boom. Right on the sun. How awesome is that? There's some cool looking uh, sunspots today. And um, the glare is, it's, it's kind of impossible to get that glare off the screen. But, yep, it went right to the sun. And so now uh, I was looking at some sunspots over here to the left. Uh, this is tough to, t to film, but what I'll do is I'll move this directional button, um, to the left here, and I'm going to see if I can hold the camera here and move the button and you'll see it move over just a little bit. There we go. This is hard to... There's that sunspot. Let me get it back over to the right. Yeah, there's a couple of cool ones right there. Oh, there's actually like four. So, yeah, that's just uh, how easy this thing is. Now, I tried a time lapse with it. I didn't take into account um, that it's an alt altaz mount and it's not really good for um time lapse because of the field rotation but as far as uh the eclipse this thing is going to be awesome for the eclipse so if you're wanting to photograph the eclipse you can do it with just a regular tripod and a camera uh, i'm going to make a series of videos over the next few weeks hopefully if i have enough time uh, about preparing for the eclipse but uh, if you're looking for something, you know, to help you uh, stay centered on the sun, this thing is awesome. And of course, right after I bought it, they dropped the price. I think I paid five hundred and thirty dollars U.S. and they dropped it to four seventy-five during Black Friday. Uh, it, I'm not sure if it's gone back up, but that's what it was when I looked around Christmas during the holidays. Oh. So, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video on the Skywatcher Solar Quest. And they call it the Heliofine. But yeah, it's using that little camera right there. And it just went right to the sun. And of course, uh, my battery is dying because I am charging my laptop on here as well. And I'm using Fire Capture to image with. And I, uh, I plan to do some more of these videos in the future as well. But, uh, yeah, that's um, just my little walkthrough over this this mount. I don't know what I did with the other uh, attachment that uses the batteries. I would have to dig for it, I'm sure. But I just, you know, I thought that this would be easier to deal with. And uh, But, you know, it does, you, you can use batteries or a cable. And... Um, I just prefer the cable because that's how I run everything else. But yeah, uh, this thing is, uh, it, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, and uh, I'm definitely taking it with me uh, on my trip to uh, hopefully capture the eclipse this year. But yeah, that's my review of the Skywatcher Solar Quest.